Hey guys, this is iMovie Tutorials guy here, and I'm going to be showing you how to do a muzzle flash in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, so the first thing you're going to have to do is have your footage. Obviously, you can basically record this from any camera. Here I just have me shooting a fake gun. And there's the recoil, so that's where we're going to put the muzzle flash. But the first thing you're going to have to do is actually get the muzzle flash. And you don't have to buy from a pack or anything. Simplest thing is to just go to Google Chrome or whatever internet thing you use. And you're going to search up muzzle flash in Google Images, which is images.google.com, if you didn't know that. But you probably did. So, one of these, I like to use this one. A few of these I like. Like this one. A lot of them I don't really think are that good. But, you know, it's whatever your preference is. Whatever you think looks the most realistic. So you're going to go ahead and go back to Final Cut Pro. And once you've saved that image, which you can do that by right-clicking on the image, or you might want to open it to get a bigger image first. Right-click it, say save image as, and then name it and put it where you want to do it. But I have already downloaded it before this video. So um, what you're going to want to do is click File, Import, and click Media. Now once you get to the media, you're going to go from whatever your account is, and I'm going to go from my desktop. I actually just could have clicked desktop, but I'm going to go into my muzzle flashes folder that I already have. So it's wherever your muzzle flash folder is, or if you don't have a muzzle flash folder, wherever the muzzle flash is, you probably just want to save it to your desktop. So I got this one, and I'm going to use this one. So I click import selected, add to existing event, which is this one, and click import. So now I have both of these in here. So you want to get the portion of the footage you want. Let's just grab a rough thing of what it is right now. And then use the trim, which you can get that by clicking on the video. And then just mousing, put your, putting your mouse over the end of the video. Now I'm going to find out where I want to go. So that's where I want to go. See where I do the recoil. That is what I want it to be. So I'll start there. And then... And we don't want our video to be that long, so we'll go there. So that's a pretty short video, so you might want to zoom in on your thing a little bit, which not that much, but that seems about good, um, so that we can get the best frame and put the muzzle flash in. So now you drag your muzzle flash in where you want it to go, and to find where you want it to go, you want to go here, go down and drag this little bar thing. And pull it to where you, where the recoil is. So mine is right. Oh, never mind. I already passed it. Mine is right here. So you want it to go a little bit before that. So right here, this frame is about where I want it to go. I'm gonna pull this muzzle flash. Doesn't matter how long it is. You might want to make it short, but long enough so you can grab it and just put it right there. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit actually. Um. But right now, as you can see, that is not a very good one. First thing is to shorten that, because definitely muzzle flashes will not appear for more than a second if you want them to actually look good. I'm definitely going to zoom out. So that is definitely not what we want. Or what you're going to do is click on this. Now go to your effects, which is not that, here. And you're going to go to keying, and then click luma keyer. Now grab the luma keyer one and drag it onto where the, your muzzle flash is. Now once you drag it on, you should go to it, and here it is. It's going to be completely clear of the black area that's on it. Um, and that is very good, because now it looks good. And if you do want to edit it, you can click this button and open up the inspector, which you're going to be able to edit that as much as you want to change it. But I don't want to do that because I think mine looks pretty good right here, as it is. Um, so now I'm going to click it, and you click this little button right here, which is going to make allow you to crop it. Let's go ahead and close our inspector. And by cropping it, you can pull it to the size you want. At first, what we're probably want to, gonna want to do is flip it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate it to be the size that I want it to be, and drag it over to where the pistol is. So that's 
about where like the nozzle of the pistol is and that size looks about right you don't want to I'm not an expert on the size of muzzle flares that come from pistols so don't ask me but that looks about right so now we're gonna go here and that looks pretty good but you're also going to gonna want some sound effects and I don't want that airsoft sound in there so let's go ahead and just lower the volume by clicking that thing right there okay I had a little problem where all my sound effects were deleted and then for some reason once I fix that the gun sound effects in my iLife sound effects are not there so I am going to use some of my own that I just downloaded um, and so the one I'm going to use is, where is it, not this one, you know, why don't we just search pistol, yeah, it's this one, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Final Cut Pro, and once again, import media, and then you're going to go, once that loads, into where you have it, I have it on my desktop under SFX, SFX gun pack, and it is this one starting pistol.mp3. Um, now I'm going to click import selected, add to muzzle flash tutorial, and import. So now we have this audio file. Okay, so we're going to take that whole thing. And drag it right on top of this one. Now we're going to have to zoom in probably to edit it and get it completely. We want it to go as the muzzle flash goes. So let's see if this. And there is, I'm going to cut it off short because I don't want all of that sound. Oh, never mind. Yes, I do. Sorry that. Yeah, it'll probably look bad if you cut it like that. So, drag that out. Let's see. Alright, so yeah, you can just trim that as you want it. Um, but yeah, that basically is your, is your gun. Um, if you want to make it more precise, this is basically just the basics. If you really want to, you can, you know, make, make some light shine on your face, make it more realistic, put some light around where the muzzle flash is going to be, do all that stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching this. Please subscribe to my channel, iMovie Tutorials Guy. But, contrary to my name, I do not only do iMovie Tutorials Guy. This is also Final Cut Pro 10, iMovie, um, and maybe some Motion 5 soon. So, again, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, a comment. If you need something, if you need to know something, then please comment and I will make a tutorial on it just for you. So, thanks and bye.